a bolt factory has three machines M1, M2 and M3 producing 35%, 40% and 25% respectively of the total output. The machine M1 produces 3% defective bolts, M2 produces 2.5% and M3 produces 2% defective bolts. A bolt is drawn at random from the total output. Okay, then what is the question? Submission A. What is the probability that the bolt drawn is to be defective? And in the second submission, if it is found to be defective, what is the probability that it is produced by here also three separate submissions by machine M1, machine M2, and machine M3? Correct. So you should be very careful about this one. Here this in the factory there are three machines M1, M2 and M3, correct. Out of the total output that is 100%, M1 producing 35%, M2 producing 40% and M3 producing 25%. Check it out, 35 plus 40 plus 25 is 100%. These are the producing capacity of the individual machines. Then as a machine they are having some default. That is, machine M1 produces 3% defective bolt. That means, every 100 pieces it produce, 3 are defective. And for machine M2, it is having 2.5% and M3 having 2% defective. Correct? Then, after producing from the 3 machines, we are combining all the outputs together and we are going to select one bolt, that is one item at random. Correct? This is the process. Now come to the question. What is the probability that the bolt drawn to be defective? Correct? It may be defective or perfect, non-defective. So the question is, what is the probability that the bolt drawn is to be defective? The first one. Second one, if suppose we are finding that is a defective bolt, it may be produced by any one of the three machines. Correct? So, we want the probability that the defective bolt found is produced by machine 1. You suppose it is produced by machine 2, what is the probability? And if it is produced by M3, what is the probability? Okay. So, this is the question. Okay. This problem is based on Bayes theorem. Correct. The Bayes theorem can be used by the statement given in the theorem. But for our simplification purpose, we are going to work out this problem using this chart. Here we are having event, prior probability, conditional probability, joint probability and posterior probability. Okay. So, first we are going to decide what are the events. Here there are three machines M1, M2, M3. We are considering M1 is event that the bolt produced by machine M1. Similarly, M2 and M3, three events. Correct? Then, let E be the event of choosing a defective bolt. So, here we are using M1, M2, M3 and E, all four events. M1 is that event that the bolt produced by machine M1. M2 is the event that the bolt produced by machine M2, M3 is the event that the bolt produced by M3. Then E be the event that the bolt chosen is defective. Okay, event Mi that is M1, first M1, prior probability of Mi. So M1 produces 35% of the total output. So, we can write 35 by 100, that will be 0 0.35. M1 is 0 0.35. Then, even M2. M2, machine M2 produces 40% of the total output. So, we can write it is 0 0.40. 0 0.40. Then, machine M3 produces 25%. So, M3 is equal to 0 0.25. Correct? We are producing. Now, while doing this type of problems, we have to cross-checking then and then. So, first, this total should be 
100 percent that is 1 total should be so this is 0 4 8 0 1 so we can proceed now first cross checking this should be total 100 that is 1 okay come to the conditional probability that is p of e given m i that is probability that the bolt chosen is defective given that it is produced by machine 1, machine 2 or machine 3. That is P of E given M i. Uh, come to this one. The machine M1 produces 3 percent defective bolts. That is for this one 3 percent means 3 by 100 0 0.03. Okay. M2 produces 2.5 percent that is 2.5 divided by 100 this will be 0 0.025 2.5 percent and m3 produces 2 percent defective bolts so that is 2 by 100 0 0.02 this is the conditional probability correct then come to joint probability joint probability is product of these two p of mi into p of e given mi okay so now it is 0 0.35 into 0 0.03 335 are 105 4 decimals so this, this will be 0 0.0105 okay now come to this one 0 0.40 into 0 0.025 25 into 4 that is 100 1 2 3 4 that is 0 0.0100 okay then 0 0.25 into 0 0.02 225 are 50 4 decimals so 0 0.0050 okay so what about this total 5 5 2 0 0.0 this is the total of the joint probability correct Okay, now come to the posterior probability that is P of M I given E that is probability that the bolt is produced by M1 or M2, M3 given that it should be defective that is posterior probability. For that one this is the probability of producing a bolt produced by machine 1 and supposed to be defective. This is probability that the bolt produced by machine 2 and supposed to be defective and this is probability that the bolt produced by M3 and supposed to be defective. This is called total probability. This will be the answer for this one. What is the probability that the bolt drawn is to be defective? Correct? This is called the total probability. The same probability are considering all the kinds of probabilities. So, total probability that means this will be the answer for what is the probability that the bolt draw needs to be defective is 0 0.0255. Okay, now come to the second question. It is found to be defective. What is the probability that it is produced by machine 1, machine 2, machine 3? So, for that one, we are going to divide first case by total that is 0 0.0105 divided by 0 0.0225 that will be 105 by 255 first case 105 by 255 and second case 100 by 255 and the third one 50 divided by 255 clearing all the decimals so that is equal to this will be 21 by 51, this is 20 by 51 and this is 10 by 51. Here also we are having cross checking, the sum should be is equal to 1. You see common denominator is 51, 21 plus 20, 41 plus 10, 51. So 51 by 51 is equal to 1, the total should be equal to 1. If it is coming as 1, we are solving the problem correctly. Okay. Correct. I hope you understood the chart. Now we are going to give the answer. 
So already told you the first answer. What is the probability that the bolt drawn is to be defective is equal to 0 0.0255. This is the first answer. Now come to the second solution. If it is found to be defective, what is the probability that it is produced by machine M1 that is equal to this one 21 by 51. Okay. Now second, what is the probability that the defective bolt is produced by M2? This will be 20 by 51. And finally, what is the probability that the defective bolt is produced by M3? That will be 10 by 51. Okay. From this chart, we can answer whatever question they ask.